Hello, everybody. It's Charlie again, and I am currently playing Grand Theft Auto V. And uh, currently playing with Franklin. About to do a mission, but first, I want you to see how Franklin lives, okay? He's, uh, you know, got some style. Check out that pool right at the edge. I want one of those. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I deserve that too. One day, mark my words, guys, one day, I'll have... I'll be living good. I mean, I feel like I'm already living good. <laughs> I'm not trying to be overly ambitious, but I gotta train your ass to use the John Chop. That's a big ass pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chap took a dump. But yeah, guys, we're gonna head out because we got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what do we use? We use the car or the motorcycle I don't know the last episode was in first person and it was no joke man that shit was hard to control I thank god for that I got a new game drive that shit is, does make a difference on my playstation I finally got rid of an error that it had by transferring it just to let you guys know if you get an error on your playstation from a game and they don't let you delete it or anything I recommend to just transfer it over to the drive as the air trust me on this I know it sounds weird hold on let me take the music off ah shit I passed it but yeah if you transfer it over I'll tell you guys right now come on shut up there we go so yeah guys like I was saying transfer over the files to the game drive or whatever uh, external hard drive you're using and then you try to go into the game it won't obviously won't play not even on the external hard drive but you'll notice that the icon that says error will be gone and um, that's when you take the opportunity it'll ask you to download an update it won't let you download the update either but you since you can now see the picture on the game like you do with the other games that's the time that you that you should take to delete it off your your PlayStation and trust me, it works. Like, <laughs> it worked for me, and I'm pretty happy about it. I, I had no other way to get rid of that error. I tried everything, you know, cleaning the storage. It was causing issues, like serious issues. But anyways, we're playing Grand Theft Auto V right now, so. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and find out where we're going. <laughs> okay, we're going to Barry. You guys want to go to Barry? Screw it, let's go to Barry's. Sorry, I haven't done the missions here since the first person one. Which, by the way, was very difficult. Like, this game does have difficult missions, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they've always had missions that y you're very tempted to skip, you know? But I, I don't like to skip missions, so, yeah. <laughs> I just got... Oh, shit. Uh, I, was, I was trying not to crash, shit. I drive better in first person apparently because I didn't crash in first person. I mean, right at the end, I guess I crashed, but. Holy she, uh, she's I. My bad. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie though, the handling in this game, more games should learn from that, man. It's pretty damn. Ooh. My bad. <laughs> I don't drive like this in real life, guys, I swear. Uh, well, I have drove, driven like this before, but I was in a hurry. Oh, shit. This is where your room is in the online version. <laughs> I'm sure you guys have seen those videos. I made them quite a while back, too, when they had snow on the map and all that. I don't know if they did snow this year, but when I started the channel, it's about, it's about, I'm about to be two years on YouTube, guys, believe it or not. And, uh, yeah. It's been pretty fun to make this video, these videos, even though I'm no expert. Oh shit! I had to learn everything from scratch, you know. Shut up. Let me see what I, what kind of damage I did to my car. Ew. Oh, there he is. Huh? At the smoke in. We're what? Yeah. 
We're going to bring down the government. <laughs> They're totally mocking people. Hilarious. I'm prepared to be a martyr, friend. Are you? Shit, if being a martyr means to smoke good weed, for sure. <laughs> oh, his weed don't do it. His weed is terrible. Get the supplies. Can't have a smoke in without smoke. You know, cerebral stuff that's gonna get the people up off their feet protesting. I don't know. It's kind of bullshit to me. Franklin ain't stupid. Franklin, don't do it. Don't do it. You guys didn't see my alien episode? The other two guys smoked it, you know? Trevor and uh, Michael didn't go so well. Dude, that's a long ass fucking inhale, bro. That, that. The fuck is this guy taking? Anyway, just get the stuff. It's a revolution. And then call me. Crazy motherfucker. Yeah, he's insane. Wow, Same that dress needs you. I I'll text you where the stuff is. Hey, go quick before someone sees you. And look out for the cops and the monsters. That's so bizarre. Nothing happened. I'm kind of shocked. It probably just means that Franklin could take a a serious. Uh, well, he's a he, Franklin's probably a pro because it fucked up Michael and Trevor. I'm surprised that Trevor's not an expert. Well, I mean, Trevor does meth, so it's probably not considered the same. I don't really know. Uh, yeah. The autosave already contains multi-target assassination. Yeah, I already did that. Oh, I hadn't saved. Oh, shit. Thank God it gave me a chance to save. Well, that's great. But, yeah, that's the guy that I hung out with here. That was weird. That was really weird. Let's try an actual mission, guys. I don't know what the hell that was about. Um, what does it say? Beverly. Let's go to Beverly. I think she's a crackhead lady that knows Franklin. She kind of has a hots for Franklin. <laughs> I like Franklin's missions because they're so, like, real life, you know? Um, the Michael one, the family dynamic, is a little bit exaggerated, and Trevor is... He's way too insane for him to be a real person, you know? Like, yeah, and I have met insane people similar to Trevor, but not to that extent. I think he's... He, he borders on the cartoon, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I love him. He's my favorite character in the game, but... He's not very relatable in terms of real life, you know? You wouldn't last very long acting like Trevor, I'll tell you that right now. Everybody loves to live in that fantasy. Damn, this game is beautiful. After I put in the external hard drive and I made more more space, it, that my games are running smoother and the graphics, for whatever reason, I don't know if this is actually a thing. They feel like they look better. I'll be honest with you guys. I could be wrong, you know. I could be wrong. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but it just seems smoother, you know. I don't know. And it makes uh, it makes RAM. I think somebody said that it makes the RAM run better. I've seen so many videos. I don't remember. I may have read that or watched it in a video. Grand Theft Auto is a game that you always come back to because it's just, you know, it's just, it just has a lot of, like, a lot of people play to do whatever they want, but it's more than that, you know? The stories in this game are freaking fun as hell, you know? <laughs> and the interactions. I got a few games lined up for you guys now that I got my external hard drive, so I'm pretty excited. I mean, eventually I'll get my PS5, guys. But for now, this is this is what we have. Oh, there he is. Oh, Beverly is a photographer. I forgot about that. <laughs> this guy's out of control, bro. <laughs> It's true, man. I'm gonna be big. I'm gonna be huge, right? <laughs> <laughs> he 
just climbed out of the garbage. Oh my god. Uh, Frank looks so easily persuaded. Holy shit, bro. What the fuck? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Everything's good. Oh my god. The char bro, the characters in this game, I swear. They never disappoint, man. It's pure comedy. And I noticed some weird thing they did with the game. That if you look try to look too far it gets blurred and you know what these are te these are techniques like old school techniques for video games to make big games that they should have used oh thanks for joining the fight here are the what deets of pickup oh, I accepted two missions at once hilarious but yeah guys um what was I saying that I think that uh, they use these, they should have used a lot of these techniques for Cyberpunk 2077. And yes, I did hear the game is fixed, or for the most part, and I did see it play on a on a base PS4. So, and it's also on special. So, I may get it. I don't know yet because now that it's fixed, it's a game I've always wanted to play. To be honest, since it was first announced. But I knew that, you know, every game comes out lately with glitches, like, it's just like the norm now. Let's go ahead and switch characters. I think that's about it for Franklin. Just two conversations. But yeah, I guess we could ride around, you know, let's make this a chill episode. But yeah, like I was saying, um, they should use those, those uh, techniques, like to blur out the background or to make things disappear like No Man's Sky when you're not looking at it. For Cyberpunk 2077 in terms of like last gen consoles like the base PS4 and I think I think they would have had a better a much easier time dealing with everything but uh, but you know they did invest a lot of money so I guess they wanted to make a completely you know gigantic impressive world I don't know where it went wrong but but it's an interesting world in the future you know I think Rockstar should make some if they should have just gave 20, 2077 to Rockstar, honestly. <laughs> Obviously, I don't want another GTA clone, you know? Or, um... Ooh, what's this? Yeah, I don't want another GTA clone or Red Dead clone, you know? I don't mind it. I don't mind the Rockstar... Ooh, look at the grass. I don't mind the Rockstar, um... Stuff, you know? I don't mind their style. I just don't want it to be too similar. Wait, who's who called me? <laughs> See, there's endless conversations in the world. Rockstar is such an expert at this. What the hell? Keep it real, dude. Wow, look at that deal. You know what be you know what'd be cool if you could actually interact? See that's what Cyberpunk does. That you can't do in GTA is interact with like people and have relationships with them. If GTA would have incorporated that in this fifth game, maybe they'll do it in the sixth game, but you could just walk around, you know, and tell a girl, hey, you wanna hang out later or whatever. That shit has to be in video games soon, cause this you know, we're in 2022, so it's about that damn time. Yeah, there's always something going on in the GTA world. Literally just walking around. Hey, bye. Hey, bye. Hey. I'm glad they gave him his own place, man. Him living with his aunt. His aunt is terrible. She's just a terrible person. <laughs> But yeah, let's go ahead and find out what Trevor's doing. This is going to be insane, I'm sure. 
It's always insane with Trevor. I noticed that the transition between characters is quicker too when you have an external hard drive. You know, I don't know. I, like I said, holy shit! Ouch. Okay, as you can see, it's always an interesting time with Trevor. And yes, guys, I I do have an episode I recorded with um at the movie theater, but I had to completely cut it out. I think the video is now two minutes, <laughs> and it was because I got a copyright claim because apparently the GTA movies are copyrighted. Oh come on, this is what I mean. I should know better. Every time I get into a vehicle, I don't know if you guys can hear it. In the last video, you couldn't really hear it, but I can hear it super loud. All right. All right, we're going to do some Trevor shit to finish it off. Just one more mission, guys. I don't want to make the video extremely long. Um, <laughs> one more mission. The other ones weren't really missions because uh, you guys saw what happened. It did turn into conversations, but still, it's not bad. All right, let's see. What the fuck is this? Celebrity item. Oh, I got that. Three out of three. That was the last thing I did with Trevor? To was I looking for celebrity items last time I played? All right, fine. Let's. I could have swore we did this already. Well, fuck it. Let's do it. It's easier to play in third person for obvious reasons. You could just see everything easier. Jesus, get out of the way. You could just see everything easier. But it's so much more immersive when you play in first person. It's like, like Cyberpunk to me, when I saw the videos, it kind of looked ridiculous in third person. I think that's a game that should have always been in first person, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. All right, let's see. Enter the club and find Willie. Gotcha. Is this the entrance through here? No, no, we've definitely never done this. I thought I did. The hell? Okay, which one of you cupcakes is willing? Hey, who the fuck are you? <laughs> His dentist. Oh what my god. All right, fine. Cool. This is kind of cool. Yeah, a little party going on. This is a cool thing. You could just switch between it, you know, three characters' lives. Wait, hold on. Let me let me take a drink real quick. Oh no, I can't drink. Bitch, bitch. Uh. Mm. Mm. Leave the area. Get the fuck out of here, Trevor. Holy shit. I parked in the back. That's not good. <laughs> Trevor! Get the fuck out of the way, guys. I need to hide. Alright. There we go. This is a trick. You crouch down by a wall or a bush where you can't be seen, you know? Like here, there's two... Actually, there's three walls, so... Hopefully, hopefully they, they I can lose them here. It's kind of hard for them to know I went inside some kind of alleyway or whatever. And sometimes they're bionic, man. Sometimes they know exactly where you are. <laughs> It's just, you know, it's just crazy. But it's GTA tradition to, you know, do stuff like this. And I'm just gonna walk around like nothing happened. Guess what, you crazy English fruitcake? Oh, I'm dreadful <laughs> at guessing. Aren't I, Mrs. Thornhill? No, she can't hear me. 
she's washing out a nappy from Samantha Muldoon's <laughs> dustbin. Yeah, uh, one gold tooth, courtesy of Love Fist, complete uh. with complimentary DNA. Marvelous, marvelous. Oh, Jock, I knew you wouldn't let us down. Toodaloo. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Even the conversation is ridiculous. Mission passed. Alright, guys, so yeah. There you go. It was a pretty simple mission, you know. It did start with Franklin. It's kind of just going through the character things. And, uh, yeah. I don't think there's anything else on the map, is there? Oh, there's another celebrity mission. I'm so tempted to do it, but I'll leave that for the next video. Either way, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe when you get a chance. And like I always say, good game.